Hello, this is James Stone from jamesstone.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Zurb Foundation on Microsoft Windows. The first thing that we want to do is open up a web browser and go to the Git website. It is www.git.scm.com. Once you're here, go to Downloads, and we're going to choose Windows. It should automatically start downloading. But if not, you can just go ahead and pick the correct one for the version of Windows that you're using. Once it's done downloading, you can go ahead and open up that exe file that downloaded. Click on Run. And I'm going to walk you through the settings that I would use on this machine. I'm not using PowerShell or anything special. So this is just assuming that you want to use the correct, you know, the normal CMD uh, command console. Click on next, next, this is fine. I'm just gonna leave everything else here the same. Next. Now here, what we wanna do is select use git from the Windows command prompt. And here, I'm just gonna leave this the same. And the other change that I like to do is use the Windows default console window. Again, this is just assuming using normal Windows settings. Okay, um, I'm not really interested in looking at the release notes, so I'll uncheck that and click on Finish. The next step is to install Node.js. Just do a search on Node.js, and we want node.js.org. I'm going to click on the latest stable version. Once that's done downloading, we can just open up the MSI. I'm going to click on Run. Click Next here. Accept the license agreement. This all looks good. Everything here I'm going to leave the same. And hit Install. You should get this uh, user account control. Just click on Yes. And I'm just going to click on Finish. Once that's done, I'm going to open up and run the CMD, which is the command console, so to speak, for Windows. And once I'm here, I can go ahead and install Foundation. npm install dash g foundation dash cli. Okay, uh, now that that's installed, we can go ahead and run the foundation CLI. So if I run foundation new, and I am going to select a website, which is foundation six for sites. I'm gonna call it my project. And I'm just gonna use the basic template. This should take a couple of minutes. It's going to go ahead and download all of the foundation files using Bower and NPM. Now that our project's installed, we can just go into the My Project directory. And to start your foundation project, you run NPM start. So that's pretty much it. You can open up your project in your favorite text editor. And when you make changes to your SAS files, this is going to automatically recompile them. Now that you've got Foundation installed for Windows, next step for you would be to learn more about the framework and get started on some more complex projects. I've got a lot of really great videos on my channel, and be sure to check it out for more videos on Zurb Foundation for Sites version 6. Thanks for watching.